Marco Rubio, <laughs> uh, Republican senator from Florida, former presidential candidate, who had an interesting night on Twitter. Okay, uh, there was an article in the Washington Post which talked about Marco Rubio and said it was he was uncertain about what his future might right. be. Right, <laughs> and so Marco Rubio goes on Twitter last night, you know, with just you know ten tweets. But let me read you just a couple of Dramatic them. Dramatic reading. Kate's going to do a couple of them too. Okay. Another genius line claims that I'm a bit at sea in terms of his next step politically. Um, not really. I've only said like 10,000 times I will be a private citizen in January. And then he adds this later. A longtime friend says Rubio is betwixt and between when it comes to whether to do chest or legs tomorrow at the gym. According to source, who knows his cousin's wife's dentist, Rubio could do cardio instead. <laughs> Yes, that happened. Well, this probably reinforces the idea that politicians shouldn't tweet late at night <laughs> for any reason and not do it without some help or at least a sounding board. So I think it reinforces that. And number two, he's probably frustrated. You got all these people who really don't know speculating about his future and at 11 o'clock at night after maybe a, a beer or something, he said, you know, heck with it. I'm going to shoot spot with off it. And bit. why not? Yeah, he why said not? Your whole campaign with Donald yeah. Trump calling him little Marco, all kinds yeah, of articles, yeah, so. and all of a sudden he explodes last night? It just, it seems strange to me. It it's probably is a little odd, but people get frustrated. And so if you talk all day, every day, eventually you're going to tweet or say something a little odd. It happens to all of us. 